Microbiology, Syllabus Statement 3.15, Chemistry of Life. This video is 3.15a. Here we'll be concentrating on the thermal properties of water. Now, students will be familiar with the phase changes when we convert a solid to a liquid to a gas and you will also be familiar with the idea that to make the transition from solid to liquid and from liquid to gas requires an increase in the kinetic energy of the molecules of which our substance is composed we increase the kinetic energy through the addition of heat energy. So if we increase the kinetic energy of a solid, it turns into a liquid. And if we increase the kinetic energy of a liquid, it makes the transition to the gas phase. Looking at the chemical formula of water, H2O, one could predict the kind of temperature, that is the average kinetic energy, we could predict the temperature at which water will make the transition from the liquid to the gas phase. Now of course we call this boiling, the boiling point. But the prediction based on water itself would result in a temperature prediction which is below 100 degrees centigrade. So this suggests that in fact in making the transition from the liquid to the gas phase we're having to put more kinetic energy that is to say, more heat is being provided to increase the kinetic energy than we would have predicted. And the reason for this is that to make the transition from liquid to gas, we also have to break the hydrogen bonds. So the hydrogen bonds presence of the hydrogen bonds in water means that we have to add more heat to increase the average kinetic energy so that we can turn from a liquid into a gas. Let's look at some of the properties which result in living things. One of them is cooling. Many organisms will use water as a way of bringing about cooling. And the reason for this is that water is able to absorb a great deal of heat before making the transition to the gas phase. This is called having a high specific heat capacity. So cooling is an important property, biological property of water. Another one that we might look at, a thermal property of water, relates to environments such as the sea and lakes and ponds. Now because of course these are water environments, they are aquatic, temperature of the sea, lakes and ponds is much more stable and less likely to change than that of the land. So water aquatic environments are thermally more stable. Thermal stability. So 
sea, lakes and ponds are thermally more stable than that of the land.